Oh, hey friends, <laughs> didn't see you there. Um, there are some questions that have bothered me for a while actually on success. Um, things like, how can I be successful? They say success is predictable. Yes, some people say that. But can that also be my story? Well, if you've asked similar questions, then I have good news for you. I found it. <laughs> I found it. Yes, I found the um, the secret to success. Yes, and that's what I want to share with you today. So stick on to the end of this video and then you're going to see what all that is about. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. Make yourself feel at home. There's a lot of space for everyone, so make yourself feel at home. Hi, I'm Onzube, and then on this channel, we explore the tips and tricks that helps us to live more meaningful and productive lives. Yes. Today, I'll be showing you the scripture that gives the complete roadmap to success. I'm sure you're excited about that. I am too. <laughs> so let's jump right in. But before we do so, let's do some definition of terms first before we get into the scripture so first of all what is success what is success is success having fancy cars success having a lot of money yeah is success graduating with the first class is success being the best in your career what is success i want to tell you that success is found in not all of those things i've called but in fulfilling your god-given assignment that's where success is found jesus defined success for us in john chapter 17 verse 4 so let, let's look at it real quick it says i have glorified thee on the earth i have finished the work which thou givest me to do so this was jesus defining success for us so success is when you accomplish the work that god gave you to do Yes, so it means that success for me might not be the same thing as the success for you. It's based on your God-given assignment. Now, just imagine if Jesus was on earth and then he was only doing good things like he was. So he was healing the sick, he was raising the dead, he was setting captives free. He was only doing good things and then he did not go to the cross. So he was only doing good things and probably he grew old to be hundred and something years but not dying because it was the word that came that became flesh the word cannot die god's word is alive yes so probably you would have just stayed here became old and then ascended to heaven would that have been success no because that was not his assignment that was not why jesus was sent on earth there's something that Miles Monroe, um, one of my great mentors, he said. He said, the devil distracts you from doing the right thing, which is your God-given assignment, by making you do good things. So you keep on doing several good things here and there, but you're not doing the right thing that God sent you to do you are not achieving success so success is defined in you fulfilling your god given assignment paul also defined success in second timothy chapter 4 verse 7 let me read it for you i have fought a good fight i have finished my course i have kept the faith it's the same thing success is found in your god given assignment so if you've you've understood what success is not being house or cars or comfort or even traveling abroad but doing your god-given assignment then what is the scripture can i have some drum rolls please all right the scripture is you must have guessed it already joshua chapter 1 verse 8 it says this book of the lord shall not depart out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do all that is written therein and then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and thou shalt have good success so the principle of success is the same for everyone no matter what you're doing so if you're a student Joshua 1 verse 8 if you're a 
real estate agent joshua one verse eight if you own a business joshua one verse eight if you're a career person joshua one verse eight if you're a doctor a lawyer joshua one verse eight no matter what you're doing is the same principle of success for everyone joshua chapter one verse eight this is the principle that god has designed for everyone no matter what you do to accomplish success so this scripture talks about four things and we're going to be looking at them first of all it talks about study secondly it talks about speaking third meditate and then fourth obeying these are the four principles of success so let's look at them one after the other so first of all studying it does not explicitly mention studying <laughs> but you cannot do the rest of the things that are listed there without studying how do you how does the word not the part out of their mouth how do you meditate how do you observe to do if you don't study it so uh, even though studying <laughs> was not explicitly was not explicitly written there that's number one you have to study the word yes and one app that has really helped me a lot in studying the word is the U version app um, I love the app so much. It has this daily status where there's a scripture for the day and then there's someone that um, is advanced in the faith that more like explains and then there are also Bible plans. It has Bible plans on different areas, on faith, on studying the Bible in a year, in six months, on book studies maybe there's a particular book you want to study or a particular character maybe david maybe daniel that you want to study um they are not sponsoring this video but i really love the app so much the app has helped me to finish the bible from genesis to revelation consistently for the past two years and so i will recommend you get it i'll put the link in the description below so i'll be doing a series on studying the bible really soon so watch out for that yeah watch out for that by the way if all i've shared was really helpful that's all i've shared so far i would like to invite you to give this video a like yes hit the like button below and thank you very much i know you've done it so thank you very much now let's continue so number two speak the word book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth speak the word jesus even said this himself in mark 11 verse 23 whatever shall say unto this mountain be thou removed and not cast into the sea but does not doubt in his heart but believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass you have whatever he saith so speaking the word the scriptures the promises of god the principles of god the things that god has said concerning your life you are speaking it continually the things you want to see for example um, you're a student the scripture says you will be the head and not the tail the scripture says you'll be above and never beneath you keep on speaking these things you keep on declaring it the scripture says you'll be better than your teachers so you keep on speaking it you keep on declaring it probably in your workplace you look for scriptures that relate to it and you keep on declaring it keep on declaring it i'm successful i'm successful i have good success my ways are prosperous in accordance with the word of the lord you keep on declaring it you keep on speaking the things that you want to see so that's number two now number three meditate meditate a lot of people um don't really know how to meditate so many people think that meditation is thinking nah <laughs> that's no meditation yeah the hebrew word for meditation is haga which means to mutter as a result of pondering so you were thinking about it and then you now mutter okay. but then in meditation you're speaking to yourself so for instance if i wanted to meditate on Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 8 this is how i'll do it this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth you stop what does that mean and then i ponder about it and i talk to myself so the speaking part is you speaking to probably situations circumstances you even also speaking to god bringing his word to him in prayer 
but meditation is you speaking to yourself meditation actually is the secret is the main thing that a lot of people don't do people that just only study the word they don't get as much as they should from the word of god they probably just get like 10 15 percent of what that word can do in their life meditation is actually the main thing because it's through meditation that your thoughts get transformed to start thinking scripture so whenever you have situations because um, we'll see towards the end of this video that you can even see it at the end of the scripture that it says you shall make your way prosperous so it's when you do all these things that you now become a superhero <laughs> a superhero in quotes so that you now are the person that will make your way prosperous so meditation in addition to the rest of the things that i'll be talking about gives you the ability yes you start thinking scripture so that whenever you see situations you will do it the way god would have done it you will handle it the way god would have done it and then you definitely will give, see good success because god doesn't record failures and number four be careful to do be careful to observe all that is written therein being careful to observe so as you are at the start of maybe you study about love for instance and then you start your day maybe you go to school or you go to work and you see an opportunity to show love perhaps probably someone has not eaten and the holy spirit will remind you of the scripture that you read yes the holy spirit is our comforter he will remind you of the scriptures that you've read so that you can apply it sometimes not naturally you might not remember but the holy spirit is there to remind you and then even times when you def when you falter when you don't obey yes when you fall and you, and you don't obey um you still ask for mercy pick yourself up and be careful to obey be careful to do next time you learn from it and you're careful to do next time that's how you get better so these four things enable you because i said before and then thou shall make thy way prosperous so it's not god making you prosperous it's now you making your way prosperous so with these four things you become a superhero so that whatever you are doing you are prospering in it so whatever thing you are doing you're prospering in it in accordance with god's definition of success and yes, that's that's why we started the video with that so let me know in the comment section which of the four things you're going to start doing more of so especially for you i made a video on how i apply these principles to graduate with the first class both in nigeria and in the us so you can check that one out next so thank you so much for watching subscribe if you haven't and then i'll see you in the next video bye